Hello and welcome to my first video. Today I will be showing how to install content into Trains 2010 up to 15. There are two ways to install content. First and the better way for most cases. Now this start by loading up Trains. Go into Contents Manager, we call CM. Now of course CM on 2010 to 2012 is a bit different to Train's New Era, but works the same. We'll get back to 2010-2012 later. Okay, let's get on with it. Installing your content. First and most important thing you need to know is what you are searching for, etc. A GM class locomotive or a 830 class locomotive. Now, once loaded CM, you'll have filter options that you can select by the area next to the word filter. After clicking on the arrow, a new bar shows. Keep it to installed and move to the right to the plus icon. Click Two times, set other to as category and name. Then on the right, you have options you can change. Keep install uh, as true. That means true is what you have already installed on your computer. False means what's on the download station that you can download. Okay, this select locomotive. Let's put in, for example, the GM locomotive. GM Yeah, go to false and it should come up with stuff. As you can tell, I've already downloaded one. <clears throat> right. Once you have found the content, you can double click onto the content to bring up its info and a screenshot in most cases. <clears throat> this one doesn't have no description. If it's done properly, you'll usually get a description pop up here. But some people are lazy. Okay, now you have your content you want to install to trains. Right click onto the content and select download. Now, of course, you might come across two or more of the same content. And you may ask yourself which one 
do I download? To find out what is what, you're going by the asset ID or known as the CAD number. The original version will look like this. And the updated version would look like this. The number at the end indicates what version it is. Now you may be thinking, what is the other option under download, saying download this version. This means if you want to download, for example, you want to download the older version for some reason. You can right click and say download this version. Now if you right click on this and click download, it will automatically skip this version and go to the latest version. So make sure you click this version if you want that version of it. Okay. This download. Once you download, you will notice there if there is multiple versions, you will see in trains a new era. All the old versions are now shown in light grey. Now also you will wonder where did the one you just downloaded went. If you go up to where it says install false, go to true and there it is. Now of course I don't want this uh, this locomotive, I'm going to remove it. And now it's back there. Now, again, if you've installed, if you downloaded something and installed something and you have removed it, it will always will come up with the last time you installed it. So that way, when you're actually going through, you go, know, oh, I found something new. If it comes up with that, then it is not new. You have downloaded it once before. Keep that in mind. Okay, now on to 2010-12 CM. You will notice icons. One that looks like a box with a down arrow. And the other with DS on it. Now the box icon means you have got an out of date version of this content. And the DC icon means it's the version that's on the download station, DLS. Now, to install the content, same as before, right click. and select download. All content that is getting downloaded you will see in the download helper tab 
below the search tab. Of course, this picture you also will see what's left on the download station comes under as this ZZZ in a bubble, whatever they call it. But it's pretty much the same as what it does in Trains New Era. Um, instead of blanking it out with a, um, a lot of grey, that's what they used to come up with to say that it's obsolete. Now, downloading your content sometimes CM may miss content that is needed if the content shows that it's on the download station then just repeat what has been already been done but if status shows unknown content Then you could try copy the CAD number and do a Google. You might find it on a private website and if so, stay tuned to know how to install that. Now I'm not going to download bits, but I'm just showing you easier ways you can find these cans that are missing. Not every time you will see them, but 9 times out of 10, the unknown CAD files used to be paidware. Not always, but most of the time. As I said, I'm not going to bother downloading it, but that's how you can do it. Now, the second way. Go to the website. And search. We'll search the GM again. Pad. And then just press search. Now you'll see the locates that we saw in CM. Now, click on the picture or download page, doesn't really matter where. Just click onto it. It'll give you this option. Now, in 2012, 2010, if it still works, I don't know if it still does, but with time, I've not managed to get it to work anymore. But you can go to here and it will automatically load up CM and start downloading. And that's what that's for. But we'll do that for time. Um, pretty much you go to here. Click on to it. And do not open. Go to save.
Okay. From from here, you have your CDP file. All you need to do now, for now, just minimise this. Close that off. You don't no longer need it. If you're still down, uh, wanting to download, just minimise it. Alright, so now, go back and launch CM again. Put it off to the side. Bring back your downloads. Put that to the side. And I'm going to do... Okay. You and you again, put you back to there. Uh, category and name. Always, 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 always Lisa. Alright, uh, put in um, Motive and put in again DM OK. False. Okay. Now you don't have to do that. I just do it so that way I know where it is because I don't want it. I just. All right. But you can do you can do that so you can keep an eye on it. But all you need to do now is go yeah, drag, and done. Now it's just wait until it's all done. Done. Complete task. Close. Now go back and go to false, and there it is right there. And it's installed. And that's how you install from the website. Now, of course, when you're doing a private, when, when you actually go to a, the, one of the private um, websites, yeah, that you googled, when you downloaded it, do this. Uh, when it will usually probably be a zip file or it could come up as a CDP. I don't know, I haven't done it for a long time. But if there's a zip file, unzip it. And if it's a folder, instead of a CDP you can drag the folder straight in as the same that we just did then but also at the same time if it's a CDP then just do the second same as what we just did then <clears throat> and that's about it that's how you install content onto your trains thank you very much and Hope you like it and subscribe.